Welcome to Reflect and Rejoice. This morning I'd like to share a few thoughts from Psalm 107. Just recently I saw a song that said, Give thanks to the Lord, our God and King. His love endures forever. For He is good. He is above all things. His love endures forever. And that reminded me of Psalm 107. Psalm 107 starts off by saying, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he's redeemed from trouble. So he's encouraging us to give thanks, and he's encouraging the redeemed to give thanks. The redeemed are those who know the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal saviour, and know him because he's forgiven them from their sins. And so this psalm gives a, a, an amazing picture, or four pictures, of the things that God's people face along their journey of life. Let's look at these four pictures. The first one is those of wandering in the desert in verse 4. Um, helpless, hopeless, restless. It says they were wandering in the desert, finding no city or no way to a city to dwell in. They were hungry and thirsty and their souls fainted within them. They were looking for somewhere to dwell. They were, they were looking. They were restless, wanderers. But it says that, that their soul fainted in them. They, they, they're inside. Their, their emotions, they, they were fainting. They, they, they didn't know where to go, what to do. But what does the psalm say? It says in verse 5 that then, in that situation, they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them. He led them by a straight way to a city to dwell in. They had a problem. They were wanderers. They cried to the Lord and he led them to a city to dwell. Then there's this amazing encouragement in verse 8 that comes four times in this psalm. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his steadfast love and his wonderful works. So wanderers, wandering, aimless through life, finding help. The second one is in verse 10. It's talking about prisoners or people in darkness. It says some sat in darkness in the shadow of death, prisoners in their affliction. They'd rebelled. In other words, they knew what God wanted them to do. They'd heard God's word, but they hadn't responded to it. They'd gone against that. And because of that, they, they, they were laboring and their hearts were bowed down. They'd been making wrong choices. So what do these prisoners do? Well, it says they cried to the Lord. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them. He brought them out of their distress. And as a result of that, it says in verse 15, let them praise the Lord for his steadfast love and for his wonderful works to the children of men. That's the second group. The third group we see in verse 17 it talks about those who are sick or anxious, going through emotional issues. Verse 17, some were fools through their sinful ways and because of their iniquity, they suffered affliction. They loathed any kind of food and drew near to the gates of death. They were anxious, emotional. They didn't want to eat. They were going through these issues. So what did they do? Well, it says here again, this is the third time, it says, Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distress. How did the Lord deliver these, deliver these sick, anxious ones? It says he sent his word and healed them. That's the most wonderful thing that we can read, isn't it? God sends his word to us, or we can read his word, and he meets our needs through his word. He's given us his precious word and all of his precious promises to help us in our daily lives. They went to the word, and they find their strength and help through the word. And then comes that same encouragement as the other two before. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his steadfast love and for his wonderful works. Then comes the fourth one. It talks about people on a boat going through the storms of life. Do you find that you've gone through or are going through the storms of life? Well, it says here in verse 23, Some went down to the sea in ships 
doing business in the great waters. The stormy sea came, it mounted up, uh, it mounted down, it went down. People in this boat going through stormy seas. We might be going through emotional, challenging stormy seas too. It says of these people in verse 26, their courage melted away. They staggered. Staggered like drunken men, it says here. And they were at their wits end. Do you find sometimes that's you? So what did these people on this boat in the storms of life do? It says again, the fourth time, then they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them. He made the storm cease. He caused the waves to hush and he brought them to their desired haven. He brought them home. Then comes the fourth encouragement. We've heard it three times. Here it is again. It says here that uh, they were glad when they were brought to their desired haven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his steadfast love. Four groups of people going through life. Those who are wanderers in the desert. Those who are prisoners in emotional darkness, sickness, anxious people, people in the storms of the life. What did these four groups of people do? Well, they called to the Lord in their distress. And he answered their distress and he brought them safe. Then comes that encouragement each time to each of these four. Whatever we might be going through, let them give thanks to the Lord. That's why in Psalm 107 he begins by saying, Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So let's be a praising people, giving thanks to him. Remember that song we started off with? Give thanks to the Lord our God and King. His love endures forever. He is good, he's above all things. His love endures forever. Let's be praising him. <laughs> 